Hi all and welcome to the second video in this Azure video series. So what we're covering in this video is that we're going to have a look at how permissions work within Azure. Right, so this is a pretty in-depth topic, so we're just going to scrape the very top of it. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you kind of what your initial account can do um, and generally the best practices around it. So let's jump straight into Azure Active Directory. Um, and you'll notice that I have two panels open. It's not my screen playing up. We have kind of one user and another user. And I'll explain the reason why in a bit. So first off, we want to go into Azure Active Directory. So you can either go from the burger menu up in the left. Uh, you might see it here, or you can just search for it. And then look for Azure Active Directory. There it is. And here, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And don't worry, over time we will explore these. But for now, we're just going to go into users. And then you'll see I actually have four users, but you most likely only have one, especially if you're just started on your free tier. So the main account that you will notice, you will only have one, and that will be your main account. Now, this account is like called your master account, your god account, or something like that, right? Or again, your break glass account. This account is generally just used to set up your tenant and then locked away, right, behind a lock and key. The main reason for that is that this account can do anything and everything. Delete accounts, uh, add accounts, add subscriptions, delete subscriptions, and all of that stuff. So generally what you do is you use this master account to create your initial users and then lock it away. So what does that kind of look like? Well, let me show you. If I open this up, we have our master account here, right? And so we have our Azure tenant, Active Directory, which was what we've just gone into. And then we have um, a subscription. And I know I haven't really talked about subscriptions, but I will. Uh, in a nutshell, a subscription is just somewhere where you create your resources, your virtual machines. And they're all kind of uh, divided up by subscriptions. Um, that's so... Again, real quick, in a nutshell, you could have, say, a subscription for your engineers and then a subscription for finance or something. And within there is a whole set of different resources. But we'll cover that more in detail soon. Um, but for now, I just want to cover kind of how the permissions work. So you have a master account, right, which is your account that you're signed into now. Um, again, if you're on that free tier sort of thing. And what I've done is I've created two accounts with that master account. Bob and Nick, right? And this master account's gone, right? Well, I know Nick is wants to have a subscription, so we're going to create a subscription for him. Um, and then we've got named it Tech Docs. In your case, your one would be called like the free tier subscription. And we've assigned Nick the owner rights for that subscription, right? So Nick has no permissions at this layer. Nick cannot create new users or delete users within Azure Active Directory. The only role Nick has is within this little box, right? Where again, the master account can delete this, can delete all these users if he wants and stuff like that. Hence why it's good to have limited permissions. So Nick's been added and Nick can do whatever he wants in the subscription. Nick can add Bob in if he wants and stuff like that. So that's kind of how this works. And I'm going to show you now um, hands on how this works because it's easy to kind of wrap your head around. Um, and this is kind of the delay that I'm going to go. I'm not going to go too deep um, as you know, too deep with this. Just kind of keep it high level. So good to do. Let's jump into our users. So we're in Bob, right? And again, as you've seen, Bob is sitting up there. He can't. Yeah, so let me just bring this up again. Bob is sitting out here, right? In the Azure Active Directory, no roles assigned. Um, so what can Bob see? So if we are on Bob, go to subscriptions, right? This is loading. Um, Bob did actually have access to this at one stage. I've removed it. So to show you, if Bob tried to come in here, he can't see the subscription, right? And generally that subscription wouldn't actually show up. Um, but he, oh, hey, there you go, disappeared. So Bob cannot see any subscriptions at all, okay? And why was that? Well, again, you've seen why. Bob doesn't have any permissions there. Um, he exists, but there's no permissions assigned. Now, again, if we were just using our master account, our master account would have to bring Bob into this tenant, right? And assign him like the owner role or something. But since we're doing good practice and we're not using our master account, 
we have Nick who is the owner, right? And since we're logged into Nick, we can use that account to add Bob. So if we go into the TikTok subscription, um, let me just show you from a better point of view that you can follow along with. So in subscriptions, go into here, you one would say like free tier, and then access control. And then here we can go into role assignments, and we can see who has access to the subscription. Uh, this is just another test user I have, don't worry about that one. But for now, Nick is the only one in here with owner, right? But we want Bob to be able to come in here and build stuff as well. Bob needs to help us on a project. So let's add him in. So add, add role assignment, click the role. So we're not going to give Bob owner because he doesn't need it, right? It's an easy thing to apply. It will give him everything he needs, but it gives him too much, right? And we're following best practice here. We're not going to give him that. Now, if we gave him a reader, he can see everything, but he can't do anything. So that's too restrictive, right? But then if we go to contributor, what does contributor give us? So if we read here, it grants full access to manage all resources, but does not allow you to assign roles in Azure um, rollback, right? So that's like access and control. That's, you know, he can't add users or anything um, to, any, to the subscription. He can only help us with the project because we need his help to build, say, a database or something. So he's going to come in and help us with our project. So let's add contributor. And we'll select Bob. And we'll hit save. So I've just clicked uh, Bob a message saying, hey, Bob, I said you did a subscription, so now you should be able to help me uh, with this project. And Bob's gone, cool. Well, let me just uh, have a look. And Bob comes in, hits refresh. Oh, you can see the subscription now. Look at that. Um, now, just be uh, aware that it does take like five to 10 minutes for a role to fully be applied. So you might see it. But for example, if you come in here, um, see so you still see like unauthorized sort of stuff. Uh, so generally it takes like a log in log out for that to happen. But for this case, that kind of shows that that's how this works. So let's come back to the diagram and let's see what's happened here. Bob has now come in. Oh, actually we'll leave Bob there because he still exists there. And he's now in here with that new role, the contributor role, right? So now, Nick is the only one that can bring users in, but Bob is, has that role, the contributor access, and he can help us with our project. So that's how the role assignment works. And that's generally the best practice on how you would manage roles and access to subscriptions. You don't just have master account here, master account here, and stuff like that. That's bad practice, and that's how, um, you know, if, if this master account ever gets compromised, yeah, that's they can do whatever they want. They can lock you out. They can, if they this master account gets compromised, he just goes, ha ha ha, delete that, delete that, delete that, change the password for that. You have no access to your subscription anymore. Uh, while you're at whole Azure tenant, All right, and actually the master account go go, oh I don't want that, and I'm going to delete that. You know that's what a master account can do. Um, now we're with Nick. What can Nick do? Nick can go. Bam, so if someone got hold of the Nick account, um, and that's it. He's just removed the subscription, um, and then that's it. He can't delete himself or anything like that. Only the master account or a user admin can. But that's how best practice generally works with these accounts. Um, but yeah, so that's how you assign permissions and stuff like that. Um, now, I know you're on a free tier, um, but the best time to apply best practices now right so make yourself another account um and make and then have a play around with assigning permissions right try get yourself the least amount of permissions you need to do to play around right um and just have a tinker around but generally what i'm going to recommend um going forward for you using this user is give them owner on the free tier subscription. That means that you'll be able to follow along with the um, upcoming videos without snagging something going, oh, you don't have permissions to do something, right? Um, yeah, so just make a new account and assign them the owner role. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.